This is the training arm of the ILO. The centre has a compact functional campus in Turin, Italy. It provides practical, need-based training and learning and assists with capacity building that furthers the ILO's pursuit of decent work for all. It offers an environment that is highly conducive to learning as it facilitates the sharing of experiences among those who come to study and teach. 50% of Turin Centre activities take place in the field. The centre ensures that its activities are relevant and appropriate to local needs, aspirations and conditions. It monitors regional needs and coordinates its activities with the field offices of the ILO. E-learning for development. Most training activities are blended and have three phases. Distance information using internet tools, face-to-face -face training through exposure to international expertise, distance learning techniques for sharing best practices. The centre runs 500 training activities reaching out to 14,000 participants each year. How participants learn at the Turin Centre. Staying in touch with global trends requires learning through a variety of modalities. Different people like different methods because they have different uh, learning styles. As we do a lot of uh, programs and, uh, and, and projects, uh, we feel that sharing of the experiences is, is very much needed. The trainers of the centre are prominent professors from major international institutions and senior professionals of the ILO. They are specialised in the ILO subject matters and in new topics such as green jobs, CSR, the crisis recovery, the Global Jobs Pact. The Turin Centre applies a variety of non-conventional training methods and learning practices. In the spirals of learning, participants step out of their role and bring out their ideas. They place their thoughts on the floor. By building the space around them, they build their own future plans. Two rows of chairs are set to allow one-on-one -on -one story sharing. Participants tell a story about their professional career related to the overall course theme. The so-called fishbowls gather a group of participants in the inner circle where the discussion starts. To make a comment, participants must come to the inner circle. The round robin builds on the idea of rotation. It brings energy among participants from quick interaction sections with the experts. The space is open when we wish to connect people, focus discussion and empower participants to organise action. Participants are then able to write down their action plans. In the World Cafe, participants get together in small groups around tables where they engage in informal discussions on relevant topics. Be ready to risk a little bit because maybe uh, you can uh, find some resistance, but at the end it always, always works. The Turin Learning Approach. Relevance, quality and impact. Networks are established. Design is flexible, knowledge is shared. Methods are learner-centered. Uh, it will help us to improve the way we provide training. And because nowadays training is becoming more and more important in this ever-changing world. If we don't train our people, we won't be able to build capacity for the tomorrow to meet the demand and needs. Um, the thing I learned most and I think that will, is going to help me is the way I communicate and the way I listen. Because I know communication goes a great way in, goes a great way in facilitating and if you communicate well then you'll help to change the whole situation. How would you describe the training? It's full with humor and it's very interesting. Excellent. I'll say it's wonderful. This is a very good training opportunity. Why do you think that coming to the training centre is a relevant experience? 
The meeting was extremely useful, since the capacities and expertise of the Turin Centre and within the ILO as a whole are a treasure, accumulated wealth with which the three partners can enrich their experience and improve the forms, mechanisms and methods of their work. Technical cooperation projects implemented through training at the ILO's training centre. Behind the blue burqa is an Afghan businesswoman on her way to work and shedding the restraints of the past. But a growing number of women are finding that the handicraft skills they practice at home can form the basis of their own business. Latifa Abbasi studied at the ILO's International Training Center in Turin, Italy, and is passing her knowledge on to other Afghan women. Another Turin graduate, Gulsum Sartarzai, runs a handicraft market in Kabul set up exclusively for businesses run by women. Before the trip to Italy, we didn't have the know-how to market our skills, but now we're able to sell our products both inside Afghanistan and internationally. We have to spread the word about the center so that people bring plastic waste here. We work hard cleaning and sorting the plastic. The center is the brainchild of Italian NGO worker Andrea Micconi, based on his studies at the International Labour Organization's training center in Turin, Italy. Andrea designed a plan for Elvia to tackle Ouagadougou's plastic problem. The project has two aims. First, to help stop the degradation of Burkina's environment. Second, is to alleviate poverty. Love is not the only thing that blossoms with bouquets of roses. In Tanzania, the commercial cut flower industry reaps in a harvest of millions of dollars a year, exporting flowers to markets in Europe. But new markets bring new concerns for workers' safety and health. That's why Filipina Moshe of the Trade Union for Tanzanian Farm Workers is in the fields alongside the pickers, showing them how to handle chemicals safely, explaining their rights as workers. Courses at the International Labour Organization's training centre in Turin, Italy, helped to create workshops for hundreds of women back home on the farms. Yeah, during our training session, we try to encourage women uh, to move forward, fight for their rights, but be responsible in order to protect their employment. Advocacy through the Turin Centre's publications, which are specifically designed for training, or through training to specific target groups. Courses for judges and lawyers examine international labor standards as a resource for strengthening domestic case law on labor matters. For this particular course, we're speaking about journalists and they have some very special needs. I've been to a lot of international gatherings for, for journalists over the years that I've been in this profession and I think this one was very unique. I think it, it tried to bring people from various different parts of the world. International labor standards are an excellent source of information for the media. They are newsy and they can also have a strong political impact. They're about social rights and labor rights and in the ultimate sense about human rights. This diversity ensures a multiplier effect. The centre is promoting the creation of a network of development training institutes to harmonise their learning practices. The alumni of the centre are advocates for promoting the ILO's decent work agenda through their national, regional and international networks.